The Seattle Mariners may be missing Dylan Moore a little bit longer than anticipated, and possibly the entire season. I cannot understate how important Dylan Moore has been to this roster and how important he was in the plans for this roster in 2023, but unfortunately he had another setback in his rehab assignment. Ryan Divish said, Dylan Moore said he wasn't feeling quite right coming out of his rehab appearance. It wasn't the oblique, but more in the core muscle area where he had his offseason surgery, He's flying to Philly to meet with his surgeon and have another MRI. So Dylan Moore had that oblique injury in spring training that has kept him out of the season thus far, but the hope was that he was going to be back in mid-April. That was a very aggressive timeline, and in my opinion, that was never going to happen in the first place. But the idea was that Dylan Moore was going to come back and be a platoon with Colton Wong over at second base. Dylan Moore facing lefties, of course, with Colton Wong facing righties. And Dylan Moore is a very versatile player. He can play all around the diamond for you, anywhere in the infield and the outfield. And I mean, he can pitch if you need him to screw it. Let's have him. Let's just throw him in there to pitch. And we all know that Dylan Moore would be a lot better choice at designated hitter right now than Tommy LaStella. And that's another one of the reasons why Tommy LaStella is so pointless on this roster because he can't play the field. I think the idea would have been with Tommy LaStella, at least he could play second base for you once in a while. But if he can't play the field and he can't hit, no point in keeping him on your roster. And the idea was that Dylan Moore was going to come back, be healthy, and replace Tommy LaStella. Now, the problem for the Mariners is how do you replace? Dylan Moore on this roster. You just gave him a contract extension. He was so invaluable to this team. How do you fix this? What do you do in the meantime, just in case Dylan Moore is out for the rest of the year? As of right now, the Mariners have Jose Caballero called up and playing in the major leagues. It's possible that he is the answer. He can play second base. You can put him at shortstop if you need to. He's been a decent right-handed bat so far, and we've seen him take a lot of the days where a left-handed pitcher is pitching, he'll play second base or he'll play shortstop. So he's kind of filling in that role right now, especially with Sam Haggerty on the IL. I think Sam's coming off the IL soon. I'm not exactly sure I'm recording this on Saturday. He may have already come off by the time you watch this video. Sam is probably coming off of the injured list at some point. Honestly, I hope they designate Tommy LaStella for assignment instead of sending Jose Caballero back down. With Haggerty coming back, of course, he is a viable option as well, but we talked about in the offseason why Sam Haggerty is not as good as everybody thinks he is, and I love Sam Haggerty, I really do, and he's a very versatile player, but he's not that great of a hitter, and he's kind of shown that thus far in 2023. Again, I love Sam Haggerty, but he is not the answer over there at second base. Maybe some mixture of Jose Caballero and Sam Haggerty is the answer, I think there is one outside of the organization answer that I would like and maybe one inside the organization answer. First and foremost, I mean, the easy one is Mason McCoy. He's down there in AAA. He's played relatively well. You could call him up. He's not my favorite pick to come and help the Seattle Mariners Major League Club. But if you really need someone to replace Dylan Moore, Mason McCoy could be the answer if it's not Jose Caballero or Sam Haggerty. As of right now, McCoy is hitting 250, 400, 397 down in Triple A with one home run and 11 RBI and four stolen bags. Again, Mason McCoy could be the answer, but he really hasn't shown out in the hitter friendly PCL. My favorite option personally is Jose Iglesias. Jose Iglesias just opted out of his deal with the Miami Marlins. Therefore, Jose Iglesias is going to be a free agent. Now, Jose Iglesias is no longer the smooth fielding shortstop that we all used to know, but he has still been great at the plate. Maybe great is not the right word for it, but in 2022, Jose Iglesias hit 292, 328, 380 with a 90 OPS plus. He did hit three home runs with 47 RBI. He's never been a big home run guy, and he struck out only 56 times. Jose Iglesias has never struck out more than 75 times in a single season that was in 2021 so for the Mariners and their dominate the zone mantra, Jose Iglesias could be the guy that you would want to go with. In 2022, he primarily played shortstop with 116 games, played it short for the Colorado Rockies. In 2021, he did play 18 games at second base for the Boston Red Sox and five at shortstop. And that was after playing all 114 games with Los Angeles Angels at shortstop. So overall, Jose Iglesias is a good guy that you can put over at shortstop to give JP a day off or even give yourself some protection if JP Crawford was to get hurt. In my opinion, Jose Iglesias is going to latch on somewhere i just really do hope that's with the mariners replacing dylan moore if he is out for the season is not going to be easy the mariners could go with staying in house with mason mccoy jose caballero etc or they could go out and sign someone like jose iglesias and maybe send jose caballero back down just because someone that's been there before someone that can prove it and has shown that they can play shortstop play second base if you need them to while also being a force in the batter's box i think jose iglesias is the right choice here 
Whether or not he would want to come to Seattle and be a bench guy, I'm not sure. But for the Mariners, getting some production out of your DH is the biggest problem for them. And if you have not already, I have a video on the screen now talking about that exactly and how the Mariners can fix it. I hope you guys check that one out. I appreciate you guys watching this one and go Mariners.